Anfarda Tradama. Her Serene Highness, Princess Laurelin of Thrice. I think we should dig the tunnel. Prince Roderick, renowned for his golden locks and his prowess. He doesn't look like much of a fighter. Not that kind of prowess. His reputation is not the only thing that precedes him into the room. The stories are true, he's won the favors of a thousand women. Wives have been known to poison their husbands for a chance to be number 1001. And I shall impersonate the princess's beloved aunt, the dowager Duchess of Thrice. Zan, I thought you couldn't use magic to change our appearance. The spell would dissolve once we passed the gates. I don't need magic to perpetrate the illusion. Just a little color on my cheeks and my skills as a thespian. Now to find a quiet place where our royal friends can take a nice, long, magical nap. What's that? Chamomile, quince, and a touch of saffron. My mother's recipe for putting a little gold in her dresses. Should work just as well on you. But that your transformation were as simple. You must unlearn everything you know and believe. To begin with, you must never look any man in the palace directly in the eye. You must never speak your mind on any subject, but always defer to the opinion of your... Care to try? There's no way I'm going to win this competition. You don't have to win. You just need to keep us in the game long enough for Richard to find Kaylin and rescue her. Illuminous Majesty, the Princess of Thrice. Prince Roderick the Golden. <laughs> Her Eminence, the Dowager Duchess of Thrice. His